Ladies and gentlemen, please pay attention as we display the safety features and procedures of the aircraft. Hi, today I'm going to do a long haul flight beauty regime. This is my beauty regime on long haul flights and it's major because I take a lot of products with me and um, I turn any plane journey into a spa opportunity. So I'm going to show you the bag, the size of bag I would take, no bigger than this and this has got all my hair, nails, hands, eyes, face and makeup products in. So everything's under 100 mil and um, all the wet products would fit into one of those plastic bags on planes as well. Very important. I'm going to show you everything in here first and then I'll show you the routine. So there's 8 hour cream by, um, what's her face, Elizabeth Arden. Some Phyto 7 which is Phyto, that's for hair. Um, I've got some hand cream, we're going to see that in a minute. I've got spot treatment, I don't always take that, if I'm spotty at the time of flying I'll take that with me. I've got a sample of moisturiser, which I always try and get samples. I've got some concealer, liquid concealer. I've got a lip tinted lipstick balm thing. I've got a spray, a nourishing hydrating spray. I've got a face mask, which I put into one of these little pots. I've got um, some Q-tips. These are like individually wrapped ones. I take a nice wad of cotton wool. I take a small bottle of Bioderma for cleansing. And um, an eye cream or an eye serum. This is a sample size, which I got. I think that's everything. Oh, and a hair, a tire backer for hair. And that's everything. So, when I go to the airport, I'll be normal and made up like this. Say, exactly like this. This lipstick, by the way, I'm going to show you because I love the colour, is um, Dior Rouge Extreme in Plaza. Really pretty. Okay, so here's me. I go and check in, get on the plane, get my stuff out. Straight away, I start my beauty routine immediately. I don't really mind what anyone thinks. And I tie my hair back. Oh, I've missed something out. Oh, I have tissues as well. Sorry, I take some tissues. So I'll use the Phyto 7, and this is the hydrating cream for hair. And that's the first thing I do. And I'll run that through my hair. It's not greasy, but it really hydrates. It's a bit like a moisturiser or a hydrating cream for your face, but it's for your hair. And just really go through with that. And then I'll tie my hair back so I can um, get on with the, the beauty. I've taken so many long haul flights over the years and I haven't really changed this routine. It's been exactly the same. The products may have changed a little bit but the routine hasn't changed at all. It's my tried and tested routine. So the first thing I reach for is my Bioderma um, which I decant into one of these kind of bottles. This one's by Mr. Mascara. Muji do fantastic bottles, which are really cheap, and also little pots you can use. And then I take off all of my makeup, apart from my mascara, which I like to leave on. It's funny if you sit next to a businessman, and then you get all your beauty products out and start primping and preeming, and you can almost see them thinking, oh my God, who is this bimbo that's sitting next to me? turning the place into a, a salon. I also take eye shadow off. Okay, so that's all the makeup off. Completely clean cotton pad. Apart from mascara and eyebrow pencil. Okay, the next thing I do is I use some of the um, Elixir Eau de Beauté by um, Cordelie. I spray this in my hands and pat it on. It's got essential oils in and it's a quite refreshing toner. Okay, so the next thing I do is I put a face mask on. I know it sounds a little bit crazy but I've done it for years, no one said anything yet and um, the two that I use are kind of invisible anyway. So the two that I like, put it in a little pot like this, um, the two that I always use and I always have used is either the Dermalogica Skin Hydrating Mask. It's completely clear. It's a clear gel, 
full of hyaluronic acid. It creates a kind of moisture magnet when you put it onto your skin, a sort of hydrating net when it forms over the skin. Um, and that one is fabulous. The other one that's also fabulous but is expensive is the one that's in here. This is the one I used on my recent flight. Um, and this is Sisley Hydrating Flower Mask. And again, it's not as clear as the other one, but it does go on clear. So, and this does exactly the same thing. So I put a thin layer on first, as if I was doing a moisturiser. So you can see why fellow passengers at this point are thinking, what the hell? And I massage this one in. I do my neck as well. And lips. Oh, by the way, my nail polish is by Avon. So I've got one thin massaged in layer. My face is getting a bit red with them massaging. And I'll leave that for a moment while I check the what films are going to be playing, whatever. So that kind of dries in. And then once that feels as if it's, most of it sinks in of that first layer, so there's hardly anything left. After about five minutes, it feels like it's pretty much gone. And then the second layer, I put on more like I would a mask. Again, I put it on a bit thinner than I would a mask. I put plenty around this area here, the crow's feet area, and then smooth it all over. Now with this one and with the Dermalogica one, once it's smoothed on, it sort of forms a f into a film. Okay, so now I'll wait. Well, I'll just get on with whatever I'm doing, but that will kind of dry. It forms a film, which it isn't, it still looks a little bit shiny, but it's, it doesn't feel wet, it feels dry. It just feels very sort of smooth. Okay, so I've given my mask five minutes and it's pretty much starting to dry now. It's still slightly tacky. Another five minutes and it'll be dry, but it'll still be really hydrating and firming my skin. The next thing I'll use is eye cream. If we can get a sample, it's brilliant for, for flying. I got this sample recently from Laura Mercier and this is the eye film, eye serum, sorry, repairing eye serum. So I'll put on some just under the eyebrow and over the top of the mask, just at the sides, and just pat that on. This I'll do regulate, unless I'm sleeping, which is obviously I won't, but Every now and again, if I'm watching movies, I put a bit more eye cream on every couple of hours. Okay, and then the other thing I do is, obviously, I use something on my lips. Eight hour cream. And I put a thick layer of that on. And I'll also use this on my cuticles. So I'll just dab a little bit on. Even if you've got nail polish on, it's fine. And just rub them in. The skin, really, not so much the um, cuticles, but the skin around your nails. You don't need to do any of this by the way. You know, this is just something to do while you're flying. I quite like doing it. I did it recently even with my son. He just didn't, didn't seem to even notice what I was doing. Um, and it's the sort of thing that I don't really would bother to ever put cream or oil on my cuticles. I do when I remember, but it's a good excuse to treat yourself and um, you know, do something that you maybe would forget to do normally. And I also use hand cream. This is the Cordelie one. And I'll put hand cream on a lot during a flight. Just on the backs of my hands, really. Just rub it in and just leave it on quite thick, really, on the back of my hands. Just let that sink in a bit. So, once I, if I want to go to sleep, oh, the other thing I use sometimes is a blemish cream. So if I've got a spot, which I have at the moment, I've got one coming up on my chin. I'll just pop that on there and then blend it in so no one can see it. And then once all of that, everything dries, you actually look pretty normal. You look maybe slightly shinier than normal. But all of that treatment is going to stop. I mean, you have to drink water as well. This is not an excuse for not drinking water. But it's going to really bind and hold the moisture in your skin. It's going to stop everything drying out. 
it's going to be like a treatment um, and it's just like a net, a protective net over your face from the drying air. The other thing I do is I always take my own mask and this is, these are called holistic silk, these masks, and they are full of lavender. I have been using them for years because I sleep in one of these every night. I just have got used to sleeping in one every night and I, I do. So I always take it on a plane, I always take it on holiday with me. And they're just fantastic. They are so lovely when they're on your eyes because you can smell the fresh, the, the lavender, the dried lavender in the pouch. It's really soft velvet and um, they're really, really pretty. So I'll put that on, give, give you the whole thing for effect and then I'll go to sleep. And then I might just leave this for the whole flight and not touch my face again, apart from touching up the eyes. Sometimes I will go and um, cleanse my face, rinse it with water and just do the whole process again if it's a really long flight and it's, you know, if I'm going to like the other side of the world, then I would definitely repeat the whole process. So about 45 minutes or so before I land, I'll use Bioderma again and just take off whatever's left of the mask. It'll just be the final film because it really set and most of it would have gone into the skin. My skin already feels lovely and that's only been on for five minutes, it feels great. It'll feel um, just really plumped up and moisturised and fresh. Then I go to the loo and I use, when I clean my teeth, I just use a little bit of water and just get off the last little bit of the mask and dry it with a tissue. Then I will use moisturiser and a sample is brilliant. If you can pick up a sample from, whenever I go for facials or I buy products, I say, do you have any samples? Because they're really good for flying. This is the Essential Moisture Moisturiser, Essential moist, essential Hydration, sorry, from um, Alpha H. And then I'll use something like a liquid concealer. This one is the MAC one. And I'll just use it around... sort of there and blend that in. I'm just going to put a little bit of extra there. I meant to say you don't have to rinse the mask off, you can leave leave it on, you can just um, take off the top with the bioderma and then leave it on, especially if your skin's a bit dry. Um, it's amazing how, I know that mask is very expensive, the Sicily one, but it's really firming, I can feel my skin feels a lot firmer. And then I'll use, the last thing I'll do is use something like um, either a cream blusher, which I can also use on lips, or I'm going to use today this, which is the um, Crystal Balm by Clarins, and I'd use that on my lips. And this is really fruity, it's kind of nice if you're a bit tired or you're coming off a, a long flight. I'm going to use a little bit of that as well, just on my cheeks. And that's it, that's my routine. I guarantee that I always feel really fresh and hydrated and my skin always looks great when I land after long haul flights. Um, and I, I just believe in this routine. I just think, I know it's a little bit of a rigmarole in a way, but I quite enjoy the, the ritual of it. I kind of have it down. I don't spend that long on it and um, it really pays dividends. I just think the, the cabin air is so dry and having that almost protective shield of, of, of a moisture magnet on top of your skin is just invaluable. You must please put some comments for me about alternatives because they're the only two that I've found that are completely oil-free, clear, hydrating face masks. Most of them have colour in or um, they're a bit sticky or whatever, and they're the only ones that I've found that dry like that. Um, so please, if you know any suggestions, pop them below. So, um, yes, that's my routine, and um, I hope it was interesting. Thanks for watching. All passengers and cabin crew should now be seated with their seatbelts until they pass for landing.